compito non è questo. Hello, I'm Martin Scorsese. I'll be here every Friday night this month introducing some of the Italian films we cover in my documentary about my own experience with Italian movies. Our next film is The Bicycle Thief, and it's one of the pillars of neorealist cinema. These movies, made by a group of Italian filmmakers in the years following World War II, had an impact that's still being felt today. The critic, Lindsay Anderson, who later became a director, wrote about neorealism in 1948. He asked, what is it about these Italian pictures that makes the impression they create so overwhelming? Anderson answered his own question. He said the key to these films was first, their tremendous actuality, second, their honesty, and third, their passionate pleading for what we have come to term human values. No director expressed those values better than Vittorio De Sica, and very few films have been as meaningful to as many people as The Bicycle Thief. It was seen all over the world for many years, especially in the 1950s and 60s, The Bicycle Thief was considered the peak moment, the pinnacle of neorealism. To me, these movies define the most precious moment in film history, when for the first time, illusion took a back seat to reality. The performers in The Bicycle Thief were not actors, they were ordinary people to seek a found on the streets of Rome. The story is modest, the pace is deliberate, as we follow a father and son searching for a stolen bicycle. It's a small thing, perhaps, but it means the world to them, and their story helped change the course of cinema. Vittorio De Sica's The Bicycle Thief. <laughs> 